Um, I'd like to connect to what, what you said before, um, uh, you know, about this, this young generation, because uh, Alex Mercy from uh, Corso Systems uh, was here before. Um, he wrote in his blog that, that he said, let's face reality, one of the reasons people don't get into automation is PLC programming. And you know, th this is what we were, we're trying to change. And uh, yeah, um, it's such a niche skill that it doesn't really apply anywhere else. So yeah. by taking the time to learn that skill set doesn't really make sense. And, and also like who wants to really be thinking of like, all right, input B300 when that turns on, <laughs> you know, B301 that goes off, right? You don't want to be thinking of it like that. You want to be thinking of like, I have a tank, I have a pump and I have something that I'm trying to do with them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when the temperature sensor gets too high, I want this pump to turn on. That's going to drop the temperature. Then once that's done, we're going to close that valve. Boom. You're thinking in um, like not this weird abstraction layer that mm -hmm. was built to better manage the data, right? Within the process, limited processing power of those PLCs. Would now we have like unlimited bandwidth, uh, you know, compared to these bits and bytes, right? Or we have unlimited yeah. processing power. Like this phone is much uh, smarter than, um, you know, a, a basic starter PLC, right? But those are still getting installed. And we're still doing practices that are meant for you know stuff that was like 30 years ago. Yeah, and it's amazing. And this is what you know runs the entire industry. You know, so so on one hand it's a niche, on the other hand it, it you know it's so outspread because everyone has to use it. That that's mainly the only solution almost. Uh, so, so there must be a change in it. This is what we are we're trying to to achieve here. This.